All right, I wanted to quickly show you how to edit this page in Wix. Um, let's go to the home page. This is where you will appear when you first get to your Wix editor from the Wix dashboard after you log in. Um, what you want to do is navigate to your new page that you want to edit. So in this case, um, it's this hidden page here. The reason I know it's hidden is because it has this little eye crossed out on it and it's also grayed out. Um, and the reason I have it hidden is because it's a new page that we want to edit and we haven't launched it yet. As soon as we're ready to launch it, we can click here on show and that will make it appear in this drop down menu. So see, now you'll see it here. But if I um, go back here to the site menu, come over here to this little three dots and click on hide, then it won't show up in that drop down menu. So this is a way that you can work on, on pages and then launch it when you're ready to launch it. Um, now, of course, if you sent somebody the link directly to this page, they could get to it, but um, you can hide it there. You can also password protect this page. So if you wanted to do that, you can click here on settings and then go down here to settings, click on permissions, this third tab over here, and click on password. And then you can say painting is your password or whatever it is you want. Um, there's also a members only, but you have to set those up individually. It's a little bit more cumbersome. So I would use passwords if you wanted to send out um, an email to everybody and give them the password to access the page. Otherwise, just leave it on everyone and anybody who you send the link to can access the page. You can also keep it hidden from the menu indefinitely and just send out the link to your list if desired to keep it more under wraps. Um, so I always say make it as easy as possible for people to find these things because it doesn't hurt if you're trying to sell something. <laughs> so I'm leaving it on everyone. Um, let's close out of this. Now let's go in here and make edits. If you want to make edits to the text, you just simply double click and start typing in the text. You can delete things, you can link things. Um, linking is just a matter of highlighting and then coming here to link and then you can click on um, and choose any uh, page in the site or you can also link to an anchor which is a location on a page which we don't need to go into right now um, or a web address if you want to send them to another website or if you want to send them to a blog post. Um, the reason being is that in this page drop down your blog post will not be available, not the individual ones. So you could send them to the blog, but if you want to send them to a specific blog post you would want to choose web address and then navigate in your browser to your live page and go to the blog post that you want to link to and copy and paste that URL. So let's go back here. So I would just be pasting, you know, www. Dennis Pendleton, whatever it is um, with that page. Um, pasting is the best way to do that so you don't have any typos. Also use current window if you don't want them to go into a different window. If you're linking to an outside website, new window is okay because that does keep them on your current site and opens up a new window for the outside site. Um, so those are your options. You can also send it to an email. You can also link a phone number um, to a document and so forth. So there's a lot of different things you can do here with this link, but I'm going to cancel all of this because we don't want to link that. Um, with the text and so forth, you'll you also have all these bolding, unbolding, colorizing, and other options here if you want to edit the, the overall format. Now coming down here, this is a gallery. You click on this and any image that you click on, you'll notice that this little change images, this is the gallery menu. Click on change images. Now you'll see all your pictures here. When you click on each one of these, you'll see over here that the description changes. Um, so this is where you can add in your descriptions. You can modify the, the number. You can change the price here. You can put in um, sizing information, whatever you want to describe this um, painting. Keep in mind that it only has room for two lines or so of text. So use the title for the title of the painting and use the description to have the number, the price, the size, and keep it brief. I do like to keep watercolor painting by Dennis Pendleton because it's a good keyword phrase that if people are looking for watercolor paintings, that's a good way. Or if they're looking for you, this will help identify every single one of these pictures to Google that this is a watercolor painting by Dennis Pendleton. Um, once you're done making those edits, you can also drag things around to reorder them. But once you're done making the edits, um, you can click on done. You can also add images here 
So you would click on Add Images, and then you can upload any images that you have on your computer um, into this uh, folder. The site media is the one that shows only the ones in this site. My, I'm in my login, so I'm seeing every image. But uh, you can also select from any of these that you have already uploaded in the past. I'm going to close out of this window. Then I'm going to click on Done when I'm done making those edits. And then you'll see you have all this here. Um, and that's it. Now, the one last thing, I did add a little uh, PayPal Buy Now button. This is a free feature. Um, there is an upgraded version of it. And the reason you would maybe want to upgrade is um, if you wanted to have more options for the cost. This one only works with one price. So if you want to say each of your paintings is $100, you can change it to whatever it is here. But they would all have to be the same price. If you wanted to have options or have like a drop down so that they can choose the painting and the price specific to that painting if they're different, um, we could upgrade this PayPal button. Um, but to get that kind of functionality, you would want to do the, the business plan, which is $12.50 a month. So I don't know if that's something you need to worry about right now, but if you do want to have different price options there, this would be the way to do it. Um, so that you could have multiple prices and they could purchase multiple things. We could also set up a shopping cart in Wix. So there's different options, but if you want to keep it simple, you could just price them all the same and have a buy now 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 button with PayPal that charges, you know, the one price for any of them. And then they would still email you, let you know which title they want um, and, and pay that way. So that's all. That's how you edit these basic pages when you're done, of course. And uh, I would also publish often if you're making lots of changes. But click on Publish. Make sure the little check mark gets checked. And um, that will make it go live to the site. Again, this is hidden. So if uh, you want to make it appear to your audience and to the users who are on your site, um, you want to hit Show here. Um, but if you want to keep it hidden, you can certainly do that. And then there's also this little handy thing here under SEO where it says go to URL. So I have this um, as, I'm going to move this down here. This is the URL. It's just sale, dennispendletonstudio.com slash sale. Um, so now I'm seeing this live page. So this is live as long as I have a link to it. I can't get to it from the menu, but it does live on the site currently, and you can access it. Um, if you want to change that URL, you can change it here. And if you ever want to visit the page specifically, if it's not in your menu, you can use this. And again, this is under the SEO tab under this little settings um, uh, pop-up menu that's in the site menu. <laughs> so, all right, that's it. Happy Wixing. Um, make sure to publish often, save your work, and let me know if you have any questions.